Now the next force that we will talk about is the normal force. Is the normal force. So what is the normal force? Sit down on a, on a surface that is hard. I'm sitting on a stool right now and it's hard. You can actually feel a force exerted on your butt acting upwards. That is a normal force. But what really is a normal force? A normal force is a contact force acting on an object because it is pressed on another. For example, consider our crate address on a flat surface. Obviously, the crate has weight because the earth is pulling it downwards. So the gravitational pull of the earth on the crate is downwards. But the reason the crate itself is not falling through the earth is because there is a force opposing that downward force acting upwards. We call that force the normal force. We call that force the normal force. It is a force meaning that it has a magnitude and a direction. So keep in mind that the normal force always, I mean always, acts perpendicular to the surface. When I use the word perpendicular, I mean at right angles. So if the surface is flat, the normal force will either act upwards on the object sitting on it or downwards on earth. On the other hand, if the surface itself is vertical, the normal force will act in the horizontal direction. It is always at right angles, always at right angles. I really cannot overemphasize that statement. Now before we move on to the next, it is very easy to visualize the normal force or feel it. So just sit on a chair that is hard, you will feel the force acting up on your from from below. Why? Because your weight is exerting a force downwards on the chair. So for the chair to stay alive and not break, it needs to counter that force that you are exerting on it. Therefore it exerts a normal force upwards. Another easy way to visualize the normal force is sit on a bed or sit on a couch and look back on the couch. When you look at the couch, it is deformed, it is depressed. The reason that it is deformed is because you are exerting a force downward because of your weight. Now the couch exerts a force upward to counter your weight, otherwise it will break. So if you sit on a chair and the chair breaks, the simple reason is because the normal force that the chair exerts back on you is less than your weight. So what happens? 